apologies if this video comes out a little bit later than expected. I'm recording this at about 7 o'clock uh, on the night that it's meant to come out, so it's probably not going to come out for 8 o'clock tonight, but it'll be out regardless. Um, since last episode, things have been going well, and... I just want to say a big thank you for all of the support on the series so far. It's going really, really well, and I can't wait to play Blackburn and put Matty in his place. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Football Manager 2008 and part 4 of our Newcastle playthrough. And today we have two matches. Uh, one of them's against Blackburn, the other one is against... Uh, oh my word, I haven't, I haven't played all the way through. What's going on here? Ah, uh, we got to play Blackburn at some point. Um, but I tell you what, we'll, we'll do the Tottenham game first. And then, um, am I looking at this right? Yeah, we played Man City and Fulham last time, didn't we? Um, we'll play Tottenham first and then we'll go and play Blackburn. So apologies about that. Definitely not going to come out for um, the given time. Um, but since the last episode, if we have a look at it, We've done all right. We beat uh, we beat West uh, Aston Villa three 0 with uh, Joey Barton, Emery, and Mark Viduka scoring there. Then we beat Bolton one 0 That was a good performance. Uh, and then we lost three one to Man United. So we're out of the cup, but it doesn't really matter. Let's get into it. Um, you can see the team there. Well, you can't see it because I think I'm in the way of Stephen Carr. But we've got Shea Given, Stephen Carr, Colacini. Taylor and Enrique in defence. We've then got Butt holding the midfield with Barton and Enzongbia behind um, Emre, who is behind Owen and Viduka up front. Don't really know what's going on here. I'm, I've been thrown off my stride by the fact that uh, we haven't been able to, uh, to play Blackburn in the next game. But uh, I, I'm assuming it's something to do with the League Cup. I am a bit confused, I imagine. But uh, it doesn't take doesn't take much to confuse us. There's Kallstrom. I'm sure he played for Arsenal on loan, maybe, uh, a few seasons ago. Swedish player. Berbatov nearly put them 1-0 up there. That was that was pretty terrifying. But come on, lads. This is what we want. We're currently in sixth in the league table on 20 points. If we win today, we could well go into the top four. But that is... Um, Probably a big ask for that to happen today. So, um, oh, oh, Michael Owen's injured. That's really not good. Uh, tactics. I really hope he's okay. Bring Oba Martins on and see how he does. Play it. There we go. Here's Hutton. Is that Alan Hutton playing for Tottenham? I don't remember that being a thing, but no, no, I do actually. He did play for um, Tottenham for a bit. He has Emre, gets that forward to Viduka, but it's back now to Michael Dawson, now Gareth Bale playing at left back. Here's Karlström now to Keane, that's forward to Berbatov with a big chance, good save by Given, and it's away once again. Here's Gilberto into the middle, tail our way, that's forward to Bale. Bale on the ball, Robinson, Paul Robinson. He only just retired. He was at um, Burnley last season, I think, which was crazy. Here's Emre forward of Viduka, Kallstrom, now Huddles Huddleston. Dear me, I don't think there's any of this Tottenham squad that are, are still around uh, Tottenham. I mean, you know, it can be said for most sides back back then, to be honest with you. Um but it's just it's just crazy seeing some of the names. <sighs> sure, I better not get sent off. No, just receives a lecture. I've had enough of those today, I can tell you. Um We've got who's this gonna Gilberto into the middle, it's away, Huddleston a genius, and he scores against his former club, it's one nil Tottenham. Oh, uh, that's annoying. Tottenham are one nil up. Um their new badge, as you can see up here, because I haven't been able to install the the old badges. Couldn't find any, so I just went for my 2018 logo pack. Here's Bale, that's for the car. Gilberto. Now to Keane. 
Keen to Kalstrom. Kalstrom on the ball. Gets it forward. Ends on beer. Now to Berbatov. Huddleston. Alan Hutton. Alan Hutton again. Gets it forward to Berbatov. Offside. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness me. 40 minutes gone. Still 1-0. Would like to get a goal back before half-time. That would be the ideal scenario. That's forward to Joey Barton. This is a chance. Joey Barton on the right-hand side. It's away. Here's Stephen Carr now to Barton. Barton into the middle. Kabul. Away now Colacini. Forward to Enzongbia. Enzongbia. Into the middle. It's Martins. It's Emery. Puts it into the back of the net. It's one all. Brilliant stuff from Emre Bezugzugzugzug, whatever his name is. But uh, one all. That's what we're talking about. Good stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> coming in, coming up to half time. It's one all. Um, we are pleased with their performances. By the way, I just want to have a chat with you guys about a potential new series um, on Football Manager. Kalstrom forward, uh, given Boy snuffs it out. Um, you know, uh, me and my friend at uni, we were looking at uh, old players today. Here's Martins. Wow, that was pathetic from the Tottenham defence. But Ober Martins puts it in the back of the net. So we were looking at old players, um, and we had a look at uh, who was it again? We had a look at Samuel Leno, and he's at a Turkish club. I can't remember the name of them, but they've got Sami Nasri, they've got Johan Juru, um, they've got a really really good squad, and they're doing terribly in real life. They're down in fifteenth or something. So I don't know, a one season challenge or something with them uh, in the Turkish League. I've never, ever, ever played in the Turkish League on Football Manager or in any sort of football game. And I think it would be a really, really good experience to, to have a go, see what we can do with them, um, with the the likes of, of those players at the club, and and just see how it goes. How, how would you guys feel about that? Let me know down in the comments to this video. Um, and if you are enjoying this little time machine uh, journey back to 2008 then make sure you leave that big thumbs up down below it honestly uh, does help me see what you guys enjoy seeing what's doing better on the channel and stuff like that so if you are enjoying it and you want to see more make sure you do hit that like button because I really really would appreciate it and growth has been incredible on the channel recently we had 2300 subscribers yesterday which is just unbelievable, quite simply. Um, I can't really say anything else about it. Um, you know, this time last year we won about 500 subs, so um, it is it is incredible what's happened to the channel this year in 2017, and hopefully we can continue it in uh, 2018. We've pretty much. Um, Oh, doubled and doubled again the size of the channel this year. If we can do that again next year, then we're looking at 10,000 subscribers by the end of next year, which is starting to get to serious uh, territory. And, you know, it, it would be it would be an honour for that to happen. Oh, please don't score another one. It's away by Stephen Taylor. Here's Mark Viduka. Kalstrom, Kalstrom on the ball, Enrique de Gilberto to Robbie Keane, good save, that just went wide, um, yeah, it would be would be an honour for 10,000 subscribers this time next year, but we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, you know, I think it's, uh, it's success isn't guaranteed, and uh, we're, we're certainly not guaranteed to get uh, double um, the subscribers again or double 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 the subscribers if you like so you know we just gotta just gotta keep working at it and hopefully you guys are, are enjoying it I've seen a lovely lovely comment today 
saying that uh, I was I was slowly becoming their favourite person to watch, which is which is honestly such kind words, and it, it really does give you a lot of motivation to keep doing it, keep pushing hard, uh, keep trying to make better content, and uh, and just keep trying to grow. You know that is that is the the motivation if you like you wanna you wanna see the videos doing better and better and people appreciating it more and more and I think that's something that I've really thrived in football manager this year in previous years I haven't been committed enough to it you know even though it's a football manager channel I haven't went out straight away and done daily content and forced myself to do it um and I think I'm getting the rewards this year for sticking to daily content. I haven't missed a day of Football Manager 2018 yet. And, you know, hopefully, um, if I keep enjoying it and I keep wanting to do it and you guys keep supporting, then there's no reason why we couldn't be doing daily content for the rest of FM18. Um, but no, let us know what you think about that new series idea down in the comments let us know what you think of this series would you like to see it continue i'm certainly really enjoying it but i don't know how you guys will be enjoying it um so let us know by leaving a like and leaving a little comment down below uh even if you're just saying hello that would that would be appreciated here's martin's on the ball and he puts it in the back of the net in the 92nd minute we have got the winner there with three two up at old white hart lane and that is absolutely brilliant. Where does that move us up to? Well, we're, we're currently in sixth still on 22 points. Come on. Come on, you magpies. But here's Wagner Love. Wagner Love on the ball. Good tackle by Taylor. It's away. Surely it's full time. Come on, ref. Colicini away. Wagner Love. Taylor away. Gilberto. Jose Enrique. Boots it away. Bale, full time. That's what we're talking about. 3 2. What an important performance that could be. And, well, <laughs> form is just incredible. Could we have a late title charge? You never ever know. And I'll see you guys for the Blackburn Rovers game after I've had a game against. Uh, who was it? Can't remember. A game against uh, Everton in the middle of it hopefully we'll pick up another win there right guys here we are for the Blackburn game we did beat Everton uh, by one goal to nail with a lovely Mark Faduka goal he's in fantastic form this season uh, I don't know how many he's scored um, for us let's ha let's have a little look shall we how do you get on with history there you go so he scored 10 goals in 13 appearances so far this season and that follows a, a 14 in 29 season last year for Middlesbrough. So he's definitely in, in good form and uh, he's flourishing. I mean, look, look at his career. He's been quite the goal scorer, hasn't he? Good old Mark Viduka. I mean, look at, look at those seasons in the Premier League. That's not to be sniffed at. And, I mean... I, I don't know if Mark Viduka has really spoken of in the same breath as as the likes of Shearer and Michael Owen and, and people, but with that goal scoring record, perhaps he should be. I mean, maybe not Shearer, that's a bit far, but um, you get what I mean. I don't think anybody ever talks about Viduka being amazing. I might be wrong, I might be wrong. Anyway, this is the team that we're going to go for today. Van der Vaart is back uh, from injury, which is really good. So we'll play him in behind uh, Owen and Viduka. Owen's back from injury as well. Pardon me. Um, so we're going to move Emre back to, to be in the holder midfielder. Colaccini's back as well. He was injured, I think. And uh, yeah, Happy Bay still suspended and we've still got a couple of injuries in Milner and Ramage. But overall, most of the players are fit and yeah, ready to fight against Blackburn today. Matty, if you're out there, have a look at some of these names for us. Uh, Brad Friedel in goal. Then you've got, ooh, yeah. I, c I can't remember how you say it um, properly. You've got Christopher Samba in there. 
Beloy, I don't remember him. Stephen Warnock, uh, Brett Emerton, uh, McAwena, McAwena, um, Stephen Reed, I think. Yeah. Um, who is he? The, no, I don't think he is the one that plays for West Ham. Winston Reed, I think. Morton Gams Pedersen, he has the same birthday as me, I'm pretty sure. Um, where's his birthday? It's the ninth. There you go. He's got the same birthday as me. Uh, Benny McCarthy and Rocky Santa Cruz up front. I tell you what, it is quite a good side, this Blackburn side. So we've got to be careful today. Blackburn are up in seventh, so they're definitely. Oh, for goodness sake. He's just come back. He has just come back and he's injured straight away. Hey, oi, 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 oi. Raphael Vandervaart. Um, anyway, we need to move these speeds down a little bit. And we need to put that on key. So, yeah, here we go. Because for the Everton match, I put it on only commentary just to get through it a little bit quicker. So, yeah, apologies about that. Here's Enrique. Now Enzogbia on this left-hand side. Enzogbia keeps going. He's going to get into the middle, and it's Jeremy. <laughs> I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. Edmonton into the middle. Oh, Chris Fasamba was very close there. Unlucky. Iron Brew is good stuff. Anyway, here's a Mac Owen and out to read. That's wide. Unlucky. But yeah, we're at Ewood Park, and it's a tough place to go. But if we do win, we could finish today's episode in the top four, which would be an amazing achievement for us. Here's McWenner. Uh, now, to Reed, and it's off the bar. Rocker Santa Cruz, Benny McCarthy, offside. A free kick given. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's have a look at the action zone, shall we? Oh, I mean, that's... Uh, oh, who's injured now? Enzongbi has injured. For goodness sake. Um, Emre goes there, I guess, and Nicky Butt comes on. Goodness me. We'll swap them two round as well. I have Joey Barton as a more advanced person. Here's Barton now to Butt. Butt to Owen. Owen on the ball now to Enrique. Enrique forward to Emre. Emre to Owen. Samba snuffs it out, but here's Nicky Butt to Viduka to Barton. Joey Barton with a shot, and what a goal that is from Joey Barton. All of the Newcastle players running into that left corner of Ewood Park. Yes, it's 1-0. That's what we're talking about. In your face, Matty. In your face. Um... Just, I mean, you know, no my luck, Matty won't be watching this video, but um, I'm sure you'll, I'm sure you'll see it at some point, Matty. But no, one nil up, Joey Barton with the goal, and they haven't really had that many chances, have they? As, ooh, I thought Shea Given had uh, handballed it there. That was that was close, given away. Forward to Owen. He has Enrique now. Gets a forward at Emre, but I think Oya's going to get there. Friedel away. Ooh, it's Santa Cruz. Ooh, it's Rocky Santa Cruz. That, that, that wasn't a chant, but, you know, because I went, ooh. Who knows? Who knows? We've had 100 views on each of the video. We, we won't get 100 views on this one after that. Here, oh, good block by Stephen Carr. Um... Which is great for uh, uh, just a little series like this, really. It's not. Uh, oh, Brett Emerton has just scored. Oh, it's one all. Morton Gams Pedersen with the beautiful corner. Morton Gams Pedersen, Pedersen was some, um, some. Uh, Some player, I think I was trying to say. Um, yeah, I just f totally forgot what I was talking about. Here's Taylor. Now to Owen. Reed on the ball. McWayne. Now to Emmett and Brett Emmett with a shot. And it's a great save by Shea Given. 
between the sticks for us there. That was close. Gams Pedersen gets it in. Reed over the bar. Pedersen again. With the corner. Can he get it in? He can. Pedersen. Barton away. That's what we're talking about. Here's McQuenna again. Now to Emerton and it's a goal kick. That was disappointing. Even by Emerton standards. Anyway. The Duca is going to come off. We're going to put Oba Martins on. The hero of the Tottenham game. Can he turn this game around? And get us a, a winner here. I hope Van der Vaart's not out for months. That would really be annoying. Dunn into the middle. David Dunn. Oof. Tell you what, Barton Hill, he scored no goal there. David Dunn, yet again, is going to cross it in. There we go. It's into the middle. And it's Gams Pedersen. It's away. He has Owen now. Where on the counter attack? Michael Owen. Gets it to Joey Barton, although that's end of highlight. 75 minutes gone, another corner for Blackburn. It's away by Stephen Taylor. Now David Dunn with a shot, what a save. And Barton gets it away. He has Carr. Now to Barton, now to Carr. Carr into the middle. Oof, and Friedel cuts it out. But I tell you what, Blackburn have definitely had the better of us uh, in the last 20 minutes or so. He has Barton, now to Martins. Martins to Jeremy. Jeremy to Carr. Back forward to Jeremy. Chance here. Here's Barton. Jeremy into the middle. Oh, Hamilton gets it away. That was a big chance for us there. Can Stephen Taylor cut it out? He can, but here's McCarthy. Oh, good save. Tell you what, Shea Givens had a good game, hasn't he? But here's another corner. David Dunn with it. Can he get it into the middle? He can. Taylor away. Oof. Can we get a late winner? That's the question. Or will Blackburn uh, get the late winner? Carr gets it forward. Jose Enrique and out to Dunn. Dunn on the ball. Santa Cruz, what a save. What a save. Matt Darbyshire's now on the field. That's a throwback. He has Mike Alone with a chance. Mike Alone shoots. Mike Alone again. Oh, Oba Martins. Oh. <laughs> Oh my word. It's just bouncing around. Here's Emre into the middle. McQuena away. Matt Derbyshire on the ball. Derbyshire. Now to McQuena. That's forward to Barton. Come on, Joey. Get it away, son. Joey Barton to Colacini. Oh, Warnock gets it away. I don't think there's going to be a winner in this match. Car. Barton. Car. Forward to Jeremy. This is a chance. Jeremy. Oh, it's away again. <laughs> now he has a Blackburn chance. Here's Santa Cruz. Warnock. Taylor away. Here's Emery. Emery forward to Owen. This, is, this could be a chance on the counter. Michael Owen to Emery. Emery. Oh. <laughs> the amount of chances that there's been. And just nobody's taking advantage. Given comes out to collect. We've got a minute to go here. Come on, Shea. Boot it forward, son. He has booted it. But only as far as done. Now here's McQuainer. Forward to Derbyshire. Santa Cruz. It's across now. Uh, uh, who's, uh, who was that? 30 seconds to go here. Is it going to be Morton Gams Pedersen with the free kick? Oh, please don't get sent off, Jose. Oh. Otherwise, it would have been going no way, Jose. David Dunn into the middle, McQuenna. What a block from Jose Enrique. Wow. I mean, we're in overtime now. Dunn gets it in. Oh, what a save by Shea Given. I think it was Beloy with a header. This has just been insane, this match. Done into the middle. It's away again. It's another corner. Full time. One all. Thank goodness we've held on there. Whew. That was that was just too close. Too close. Um, we will sympathise with him and we'll see how Raphael van der Vaart's holding up. Oh, I bet he's out for six months. Where is he? Oh, six days. That's not bad. 
Um, a bruised head. I mean, come on. Oh, and Zongbi is out for six, uh, for two months. That's really not good. Um, uh, yeah, we'll bring Damien Duff in. Why not? Anyway, let's have a look at when we're going to come back. Um, so we've got Derby, Portsmouth. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll come back for the West Ham and Man United game in the next episode, and hopefully that'll be a load of fun. Uh, wrong series, but if you haven't seen me Journeyman stuff, go and check that out. Um, if you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It honestly does mean the world to me. really does mean a lot to the channel as well. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more for daily FM18 content. Hit that little bell button as well, the little notification button next to the subscription, and you'll get a notification every time I release a video, which is at least daily. So please, please do that. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.